Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jerzen. I'm a second year medical student. In this video, I'm going to be going over efficient study techniques, namely active recall and space repetition. I started using these study techniques about a year ago when I discovered them from YouTuber Ali Abdal. I'll be linking to his videos down in the description below. He goes a lot more into the theory behind the evidence behind these study techniques, well, because there's a lot of evidence behind them. But in this video, my plan is to actually go over the practical ways in which I personally apply these study techniques. The first efficient study technique that I want to talk about is active recall. Active recall is essentially a form of revision. All of us know that revision is important for us to remember what we study. You can't really expect to study something today and remember it two months from now when you actually have an exam on that topic. How I used to revise before I discovered active recall was by rereading my notes. I'm pretty sure a lot of people do that. Believe it or not, this is not the way you want to be revising. There's a ton of research out there that says rereading something or re-highlighting something, or in other words, pass a recall, is not the most efficient way to revise something. What you want to be really doing is active recall. This basically means you're trying to recall the information actively with by using your brain. The most common active recall techniques are flashcards. Flashcards can be done both analog and digital. You can write down your flashcards on a piece of paper and then go over them and organize them by yourself, or you can use applications and use the internet for a lot of your things. There's apps like Anki and Remnote, which actually have algorithms, which I'll be going over later in space repetition which actually show you flashcards when you're about to forget them. The second way of active recall is by doing questions and answers. This is my preferred way of doing it for some certain subjects, especially with medicine. I use Notion for this because they have a really nice toggle feature where you can hide a certain amount of text underneath some other text, but you can use other methods too. If you're not used to digital note-taking, you can do this in an analog format with the Cornell note-taking system. I used to actually do this before I discovered Notion, where I would write down my questions on my iPad, and on the left side, I would write down my questions and and keywords and when I'm revising I would go through the questions and keywords before actually rereading my notes. That way my brain is forced to think about the answer and that helps you memorize it better. The third way of active recall which I usually do is by just simply writing out or drawing mind maps. This helps a lot especially when you're dealing with really big topics. I would just open a blank document of notability on my iPad and go through my lecture slides. When I see a certain topic I would write down everything I know about it and then go through it that way, I know what I know and I know what I don't know, and that helps me remember things better for the next time. Now that we know how to revise each time, we need to tackle the question of when to revise. Space repetition is when you space out your revisions over a period of time. The theory behind this is basically that you tend to forget things over a period of time. There's a curve called the forgetting curve which shows you that memory can be lost over time. So basically you're going to study one thing today and you're going to forget half of it by tomorrow. But if you revise tomorrow and you get back to 100% memory retention, you're only going to forget half of it maybe in three days. And then, you know, it just keeps going higher and higher. The practical way in which I apply space repetition is by having a good study schedule. This doesn't mean that I'm going to plan out my studies per day, where I'd say on Monday I'm going to do physiology, on Tuesday I'm going to do anatomy. That technique really doesn't work well with me. What I do instead is I would go through all my topics and decide what I want to be studying. This is usually the thing that I find the most difficult, and then I would go into the topic and then start revising. If I did have to recall, it's usually questions, and then I would go through my questions, and then I would have an idea of how good I am at that topic. I would then mark it with a highlight, so green for I know it really well, yellow for I know it partway, and red if I didn't know a lot. The reason for the colors is because the next time I'm going to revise something, I would have a bird's eye view of what I know and what I don't know, and then I would know what's best to revise. Something people always ask me is which app do I need to use to study? My personal take on that is you really don't need a specific app. You can literally do all the things that I said with pen and paper. I personally prefer to type everything out because I type faster than I write, but you don't necessarily need an application to start studying. The most important thing to remember is that you apply techniques like active recall and spaced repetition in your studying so you can do it more efficiently. That's it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed. Like the video if it helped you and also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this which I'll be uploading every single week. Thanks for watching.